Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com and in this video I'm going to give a little introduction to objects in PowerShell. Objects are one of the aspects of PowerShell that make it special compared to, um, to Bash and Command.exe and, and, and other shell environments. Before we jump in I want to give you a little reminder of if you enjoy the content of the video make sure you click like and also subscribe to the channel and ring the bell when you subscribe so that way you can be aware of uh, when, when new content comes available. So in an environment like Bash when you run commands and, and get um, and, and, and those, those commands return some kind of data what you're generally getting back is what's called standard output and for lack of a better phrase that standard output is literally just the text on the screen for example I have um, I'm SSH'd into uh, one of my Linux servers and if I were to do the date command why that's scrolling down there we go so we have the date command and what that returns is today's date and literally that that is all that is that is just the standard text output of what today's date is in PowerShell if I were to do the get date commandlet that looks like it's it's returning something similar right so we have the you know day of the week month year time the difference is this is simply the standard output text to the console this is actually an object so the question is what's an object an object is an entity that's going to have uh, various attributes to it and most of the objects that you have in PowerShell are going to have methods and, and, and properties to them so the question becomes all right how do we know what methods and properties are available to this object that's that that's coming back to me and a commandlet that is going to, to, to serve you well in really anything with PowerShell but especially uh, trying to, 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 to wrap your head around objects is a commandlet called get member and what get member will do is show you for any um, any object that, that, that PowerShell returns what its uh, methods and properties are so we're gonna take get date and that's gonna return us some type of an object I'm gonna pipe that to get member we have a lot of stuff that, that comes back here. So first of all, we have type name. This is important. Um, later on, I'll, I'll, I'll do some videos that go a little bit more in depth into what the, the, the pipe, which is this symbol here, uh, what the pipe is and what it does in PowerShell. But one key thing to understand, this type name here, this tells you what kind of object was returned. So when we did get date and it gave us Monday, January 20th, 2020, 6.33, 54pm, what that actually is, is a system.datetime object. It is not a string, it is not an integer or, or Boolean value or anything like that, it is an object called system.datetime. Over here in, in our bash shell, what we have is just standard output. There, 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 there are no methods w w within this output. There are no properties within this output. It's literally what you see on, on, on the screen. Now, that's not necessarily a, a good or bad thing. It's just how it is in, 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 in a uh, Bash environment. In PowerShell, you can kind of see this as the, the beauty and savagery of PowerShell, depending on how you look at it. On one hand, the beauty of it and I'll, I'll go into this is you have a lot of flexibility with the the data here that you can use to your advantage in scripts and scripts and other things the savagery of it is until you're used to, to working in PowerShell and, 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 and you get more comfortable with with, with, with commandlets that, that you use more often it, it can be a bit deceiving as far as you see this Monday January 20th 2020 Six thirty-three, fifty-four p.m., and you're not sure. You know what? What? What is that? Is it just a string that has the word Monday, comma space, January space two zero, comma space, or is it a date time object, or is it something else? In the Bash world, it's just whatever the the, the standard output is. 
So getting back to, to what's in this object, I took the get date, piped it to get member, and there are a number of methods. Methods are, are uh, think of methods as things that you can do to the object. And then there are a number of properties. Properties are the, like the, the attributes of the object. So I'm going to run this uh, command, these commands one more time here. I want to do get date. So we have the current date. And I am going to run to get date again. Pipe get member. Oops. And I'm going, I want to see just the member type properties. And so this is just showing the, the properties within the object that, that, that get date is. And so you have all, all sorts of little things here. Now, what's currently being displayed for get date is actually the property of date time. And so the question is, how can we know that? So if you were to take a commandlet, such as get date, and we're going to pipe that. The actual commandlet is format list, and alias for it is fl. We're going to do star. And this is going to show us the value of all of the properties within whatever object this was that we piped over to it, which in this case is, 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 is a uh, get date object. So all of the properties within this object, the display hint property, its value is date time. The date time property, its value is the long format here of the date. The date property, you see its value and on, on and on and on and on. So the question becomes, how can this be, be useful to us? Well, one thing that, 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 that you can do with, with the properties, let's say that you're writing a script and, um, and at some point in the script you want to display just the day of the week. You don't want to display the whole date time, you don't want to display um, the the date in numerical format you, you you literally just want it to say w whatever day of the week is well a way you can do that I'll, I'll show you two ways actually one is with the get date commandlet itself so get date notice I'm putting this in parentheses because for properties we can do dot or do we can type dot and then the name of the property so in this case I'm going to put day of week and what will be returned to us is that property from the object get date so that way um, in it's kind of a programmatic way if you have your little script and and the, the first line of the script is saying you know hello it's whatever day of the week well you can simply uh, have the get date dot day of week and what will be returned is going to be whatever the day of week is uh, or rather whatever the value of the property day of week for whenever you run get date another way is let's say that you're using a variable in your script so I'm going to create a little variable here I'm going to just call it current date and I'm going to set that to get date and so now if any time that I call current date, I can do the same thing. Oh, if I spell current correctly, dot the property name, and we we get the the same um, same data here as just doing the commandlet and then dot day of week. This right here can be especially useful for a, um, a commandlet called get child item, which I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate in in a um, in a couple of minutes here. So that's the the idea of the properties. These objects, this get date object, which returns a system dot date time, it, in addition to whatever it just displays by default, which is displaying its date time property by default, it has all of these other properties in it, which you can access by doing the commandlet dot property name or you can store it to a variable and do the the variable dot property name now methods are 
really what what will make objects uh, powerful. So let's we're going to clear our screen. Let's do get date again. We're going to pipe to get member. And this time member type we're going to do method. Now these methods are a variety of things that can be done to this object. And the, the, the one I'm going to demonstrate for you is the add days method. I use this all the time with, 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 with scripts and such. Let's say that I have something where I want to find um, I want to find all files that were made um, within the or yeah with, 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 within the last 30 days of whenever this the, the script runs. So what I can do here, just like when we're using a property, we want to do get date in parentheses, and then we want to uh, type dot and then the name of the method. So in this case, I'm going to do add days. And if you were to tab complete, notice it, it starts a, a, a parentheses because this method is going to need some type of um, value to, 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 to use for it to do what it wants to do. And as the method implies here, we are going to take whatever the get date object has and we're going to take that date and we're going to add a certain number of, uh, of days to it. So in my case, if I wanted to, um, to get a listing of files made uh, w w within the last 30 days, then my script is going to be something like, you know, get child item where um, where creation time is uh, greater than or equal to 30 days ago. So the way I can do that, how do I find out 30 days ago? Well, I can add negative 30 days to get date. And so 30 days ago would be December 21st, because it's, 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 it's January 20th now. If I wanted to find what 30 days in the future is, I would simply do 30 instead of minus 30. And 30 days from now is going to be February 19th. The ability to use methods with, um, with objects is, is quite powerful. And... Um, get date is, in my opinion, one of the best examples of that because in, uh, it's just it's 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 so just useful. I, I, I'm I'm at a bit of a loss of of, um, of adjectives for this, but anytime I'm, I I I need to do some type of uh, of date calculation. I open PowerShell, use get date, and I use this add days, hours, milliseconds, ticks, all that. Those are um, those those are methods that, that that I use to manipulate that object, and it, and it just makes life so much easier. Now there are a, just plethora of of methods that 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 go into get date. I'm not going to dive into this because this is just kind of an introduction of what objects are, but I did want to demonstrate the fact that anything you do in PowerShell is going to return some type of an object. And that object is going to have uh, properties to them, which I have I've cleared that from the screen, of course. It's going to have various properties to them as well as different methods, such as the add days method. Um, just to kind of Proof positive here. If I were to do get date, actually we can do this. So I'm going to make a variable. We're going to call time, call it time now, and get date. So I've now stored that get date object in the variable. Just like with the properties, we can use methods against this. So if I were to just type time now, that's the um, system dot date time object that was stored in it. I can do time now add uh, minutes five or five minutes and so notice the time change from 646 to 651 and you're doing that and you're able to, to do that because of the method that exists within the system dot date time object of add minutes and we feed that add minutes method whatever we whatever number of minutes that that that, that we want to, to add to it the final thing I wanted to show you is getting back to that. To, I told you about get child item, and how uh, how properties can can be useful for you. So I'm going to clear the screen. 
I'm going to do or run get child item. And so this is going to show all of the directories and, and, and files and such within my, my current directory. And I'm going to pipe this to get member. And they're just like with um, with get date, there are a number of, of methods and properties. And the the property that I I want to um, to show you here is the full name property. And what full name is going to give us is the full file path. So let me do this as as a variable. So if I have um, Let's see, dear contents, and I'm going to set that to get child item. And if I were to do dear contents dot full name, what's returned are is the full file path name. And where this is useful, there have been many times where I've needed to um, to uh, have a request for like some file listing or or I have uh, some need to, to have the the full um, the the full path names of files, and that's where using the the, the property full name with the object that that is um, that's that, that's returned by get child item, which you can scroll up and see that the type of object is system.io.fileinfo. It's a way that you can use that property to quickly get the the full path of that without having to just do get child item and you see the name of everything and then you're having to manually type in a text file c colon slash user slash administrator slash whatever you can simply use the object and dot full name property to be able to get what you need so this is just sort of scratching the surface with 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 with, with, with objects I, um, if you're new to powershell i don't want you to be real overwhelmed by this the key things to, to take away from it are every commandlet that that returns some type of value in PowerShell is returning some type of object. And that object is going to have properties and methods to it. Properties are attributes to the object thing things um, that that it is such as with the get date example you have the the property date time which is that full um, full fledged you know day of the week date month year time you also have methods within pro within uh, objects and these methods are things that you can do to the object and again going back to the get date example that would be you take the object get date and you run the add days method and feed it seven and that that uh, that will take the the data from the um, date time object returned by get date and add seven days to that so i i hope that you, you found this useful if you did again make sure you click like on the video also s subscribe to the channel and ring the bell and don't hesitate to to post comments and ask questions and such my, my, my goal of these videos is to help you understand uh, a bit more about uh what, what, whatever the, the topic at hand is which in this case is, is is powershell and and uh what objects are and so thanks for taking the time to watch and i'll see you the next time